Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we are going to guide you on how to make a very simple book tracker with Notion. So let's get started. First, let's open an empty Notion page and let's title this Simple Book Tracker. Now let's add a cover photo and icon. For this, we'll be going to Unsplash, which gives you a huge stock image library. And let's go with some kind of forest theme. And let's choose this one. And reposition it. And then let's add an icon. So we can go with this kind of green theme here and add a bookmark icon. And let's go with some green color. And then go to the top right corner where you'll have three dots. And then we're going to do small text full width so that we have more space on the page. And now we can get started. So for this very simple book tracker, we are going to just make a gallery view database that you're going to use to store your books. So let's go ahead and type slash gallery, then click gallery view, and we'll put a new database, plus new database. And now we have this gallery view. So this is, each of these are going to contain your books. So let's title this books, or my books, my books. And let's start setting up these cards. So first, let's just title these so that we have a good idea of what we're doing. So this one's going to contain book one. This is going to contain book two. And this will have book three. And obviously, you can add whatever books you want in these. And then we're going to adjust the cards. So right now you can see inside this card like this, and we're not going to have this here. So let's delete this placeholder. But also we need to set the cover setting. So for that, you go to layout and then card preview. Let's go with page cover. So this way we can actually show the cover of the book. And let's also do fit image so we can see the whole cover of the book. So that is the settings for how you see this gallery view. And then now let's actually try adding some books so that we know what we need to add to each one. So for book one, we are going to try it with a book called Atomic Habits. So we go Atomic Habits. And we're going to add as the cover, the cover of the book Atomic Habits. So let's go to Google and we already pre-searched Atomic Habits. And you can just pick a photo you like here and simply do control click and then copy image address. So you can click copy image address. And then if you go back to Notion, you can add cover change cover and then choose link and add the image link and it should work most of the time and now if we click out we see the book atomic habits and the other thing we'd like to do with this uh, book gallery view is that we need to know who wrote the book so obviously we should add the author so let's actually delete these properties because we're not going to use these default properties. And we can start adding our own. So first we're going to add the author. And for that we recommend select or multi-select. So multi-select allows you to select multiple and select only allows you to select one. So in the case that there would be a book with multiple authors, maybe we'll go with multi-select. And we're going to title this author. And let's choose an icon for a person. So let's go with this one for the author. And this was written by James Clear. 
So now it's possible to filter your books by author if you just add these multi-select author properties. And the other thing we want to add is the genre. So for this as well, let's go with multi-select and name it genre. And we'll select the icon for genre. And let's go with, let's just put a map in for genre. And this one is about productivity. So, or self-improvement, which is better, self-improvement. And we have a genre. And then we have author, genre. And one of the most important things you'll want to track is where you are with the status of your reading. So for that, let's click plus add property. And then we go to status. And here we have not started in progress and done. And for our needs, we're going to actually change these namings so that it fits this book tracker. So let's click these six dots and then you can rename it. So this is actually not started is okay. Or want to read, want to read. And then if it's in progress, you could call it reading now. And then this one, we could call it finished. And now we have statuses. So let's say we want to read Atomic Habits. So we're going to set it to want to read. And so now we have author, genre, and status. And let's add one more property. And obviously you can add so many properties to each book if you really wanted like summaries, favorite quotes, and so on. So there's a limitless possibilities here, but let's actually just add something called rating. So we can show you how to kind of use emojis in the, in the multi-select. And we're going to put rating and let's put a icon here for a star. And this we can put at the bottom. So now we have a multi-select called rating and we need to make various rating options. And for that, we're going to use emojis. So let's go with star. So for that, you can do colon and then type star and you'll find the emoji you're looking for, which is this one. And all you have to do is copy it. So copy this and then you go here and you put one. So this means it's one star. Now you can choose one star. And let's say you wanted to put two. You can create two. You can create three. Let's just go up to five. And four. And now we can actually rearrange these manually. And you'll notice that these colors are all different, so we can also adjust those. So let's just go with the light gray for all of them so that the star pops out. And we can just change it like this. And we have our star rating. So when you're finished, you can add how you felt with the book, if it's five star book or one star book. And we can delete this, which we just used for the copy. And since this is one to read, we're not going to be adding a rating here. So with this property, actually, we should ch change it to select and not multi-select because you're only going to put one rating. So that was, uh, this should be multi uh, I mean, select. And that way you can only choose one. So it works very well, but with genre and author, you can choose multiple. So make sure to choose the correct one. And that's it for the properties here. And now let's actually go out. So we see here now Atomic Habits and we want to see more information without clicking into it. So we're going to go to the three dots here and then let's click on properties. And right now, only the name is shown. So we want to see the author. We want to see the genre. We want to see 
basically everything. So now you can see everything and you can also check if you like the order. So maybe the status should go above the star ranking. So you could also do that by dragging this. So now we have Atomic Habits, James Clear, Self-Improvement, Want to Read. So all the information you want here. And the other thing is that inside the book, you can actually start writing notes and summaries here. So if you wanted to write notes, summaries, your favorite quotes, you can do anything you want in this area. And a quick trick actually that you can do is if every book is going to have the same template for your summaries, notes, quotes, and things like that, and you don't want to keep repeating it, you can actually go to this arrow here and plus new template. And you can add, for example, summary, quotes, notes. And you could do heading three, heading three, heading three here as well. And then for example, slash divider, so you can format it even slash divider and another divider. So now you can just choose this, well, let's actually call it book entry. And we can even choose an icon too. So let's go ahead and choose an icon. Let's go with the book. And we will have these already pre-built in. Let's go back. And then let's click here again. Now you see book entry. So you can just click here, book entry, and you will see all the options. Uh, that you just typed before in the template. And one more property actually that we should add is the date property so you know when you finish the book. So let's actually add a start and end date. So we could actually just add date. And if you just add date, and actually let's rename it start end. Now we have start end. Then if you go here and you choose a date with the end date, you could just say that you read it from here to here, for example. So that's basically it for a book page. And let's actually go ahead and fill in more books so that we have a few more and we can filter them and show how to do sorts and things like that. So let's go to book two. And for book two, let's say we are now reading The Hobbit and we will add the book entry here so we get everything we want and the genre is fantasy and rating we don't have and date start and we don't have yet. So now let's add the cover with that we go here. You can just search here and then you can control click copy image address, go back and add cover, change cover, link, submit. So now we should have the cover. Let's add the author, J.R.R. Tolkien. Now let's add another book. Let's go ahead and add a book called Wild from Lost to Found. And we will go ahead and already copy the cover. So we can go copy image address and go here and add cover, change cover, link, paste, submit. And that's it. And then we can click book entry so we can load the icon and everything. And then we'll just say wild Cheryl Strayed. And the genre is uh, memoir and status want to read. And that's it for this one. So now we're just going to show you how to 
filter these into new tabs based on the genre, for example. And you can apply this to any of these. So whatever view you want to see, it's possible. But for this tutorial, we'll just show you one so you know how to do it. So if we go to this gallery view, first let's rename this to view all. And then we are going to duplicate this. So control click and then duplicate. And that gives you the exact copy of this view. And now this one is going to be filtered by, let's say, fantasy. So you only want to see fantasy books. Then what you can do is now go to this filter button and filter it by genre and choose fantasy save for everyone and you only see fantasy so this is one option of how you can filter based on genre so if you view all it's like this and then you could click fantasy and now you only see the hobbit so you could make two more tabs which is self-improvement and memoir and then the other option you can do actually is let's go ahead and duplicate this again and we can do something called group by, and we're going to group by genre. So now we do group by genre. We need to go to the three dots here and go to group and then click genre. And now what happens here is that everything is grouped by its genre. So we can see all fantasy books in this, all memoirs here, and all self-improvement books here. So this is another option. But sometimes your page will get very long if you group like this. Of course, you can also click these toggle buttons so that you can hide more. But if you want a quick view of only one genre, this is another way you can do it. So these are all ways that you can sort and filter your books based on all of these properties. And however you like to track books, you can customize it the way that you want it. So we really recommend that you create your own tabs and the way you want to organize it. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you'd like the completed version of this simple book tracker, we'll leave it in the link in the description. We also have some more advanced templates for the premium book library and journal or the standard book library. And we'll also leave those links in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you were confused by this video, please let us know, and we hope to see you in the next one.